All right, guys, our last guest for tonight's show is Manasi Fayenu, the Manly Seagulls young live wire hooker. Nace, how are you tonight? Yeah, I'm going good, eh, Clark? Awesome. Pleasure to have you on the show, mate. My first question is, this is your first pre-season under Des Hasler. How's it been and how tough does it compare to others? Um, yeah, this is my first pre-season under him. Um, I've only had two, this Des and um, Baz is one, and Trent Brad, I mean, uh, mm. yeah, I, I think every year gets harder, the boys say, but yeah, Des one has been like, particularly hard for me too. Um, he just pushed my goals and limits like, further, like, yeah. Was that a personal Doing, challenge like, to yourself? Or, or was that for yeah, the entire been, team? Yeah, it's it, um, personal to, like, entire teams. Like, it's just personal to, like, to their own, like, different goals set out to their own, to their personal, like, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And as Des sat you down one-on-one, um, -on -one, or if any of the coaching members for that matter sat you down and sort of spoken to you about what they expect out of you this year um, or, or what they want out of you moving forward into 2019? Yeah, there's, um, I've heard I want to one with him um, over the last couple of weeks about how I'm going, how I'm travelling, and um, he just, yeah, look, um, the number 14 jersey is up for grabs, and he just wants me to, like, take in that, and, like, if I do take that, he wants me, like, come in, like, on the field, like, real good energy, putting the forward onto, like, the ball, and, like, just changing the, like, momentum, because happy will be, like, will be, like, he'll start off fresh, and then, I don't know, like, probably go down a bit and then he just wants to be like just impacting the game and then up he will come and finish the game so like hopefully that all turns out how it turns out yeah, no doubt. From what we've seen from you so far, you certainly are very live around the ruck, very fast, very good passing game. So I don't think uh, that will be a struggle for yourself. But sort of what has been your main focus this preseason? What's one area of your great, uh, game you've really looked to improve? Um, well, um, I spoke to Des and he, he told me, like, even personal tra like, trainers that work at Manly too, like our nutritionists and that diet, um, just other... I've lost five kilos over the pre-season, just so yeah. I can move my body weight like a bit more and um, just get quicker, like out of hooker. Okay, and, so what, um, what's your playing yeah, weight at the I'm, moment? Playing weight now is 92. I was 96, 97 last year. Okay, and, and again, that wasn't a yeah. personal decision to shred that weight. It was it was done by the club. Oh, it was personal to me. I I just okay. feel like I just need to get a little bit faster if I wanted to get through the forwards and um. I just, they, I just told them I just wanted to lose weight. Like, I want to get faster, and they told me best option just to like, lose a few kilos mm. and then just do some um, sprint training, and I've been doing that, and I've just been working on my defense because that was a bit poor last year, I reckon, okay. personally, yep. from my view, and I've just been working on defense. Mm. No doubt a strict diet was also required to um, shed those kilos. Have you happened to uh, sneak in a cheeky cheat meal? And if so, what's your go-to? Um, I've been all right during the week, but coming to the weekend, um, yeah, I just get, it gets sneaky, like, um, having, like, takeaway food or something, like, KFC, after the games, especially, after the Sharkers game, yeah, just, just takeaway, like, I don't know, I, love, I just love the chips and burgers. Nice, I think we all do. Um, all right, let's go to the trial game that you just touched on against the Sharkies. Obviously, it was atrocious conditions, and, you know, it was lucky it was only a trial because I feel like the conditions really affected the um, style of play there for both sides. But um, first question, how's the body pulled up afterwards? Yeah, no, body pulled up, all right. Just played 40 minutes. Um, yeah, just played 40, and body, like, it was a bit sore after the game, first hit out the year, and, mm. yeah, it just be sore. It was... Um, Terrible weather out there. It was just like a forward game. It was just short passes, just get through the middle and just kick. That was pretty much it. You could do, you couldn't do any long passes or anything. Yeah, absolutely. And you did touch on that you've shed a couple kilograms this off season. Did you feel a little bit fitter out there, or too early to tell? Yeah, I, I feel I feel quicker and yeah, fitter out there. Um, usually I get I blow out quick and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I just feel quicker out there, feel fitter. Even the trainer said that I look more better out there, 22 kilos. They said that you can't tell that I lost 5 kilos, but yeah, mm. on the scales it says I lost 
you said money too on the scales, so I obviously believe it. Well, the scales don't lie. I suppose my next question is, have you noticed uh, any difference in defense having lost that kilogram, uh, five kilograms, or no difference yet? Um, yeah, um, yeah, I've, I haven't noticed anything. Um, sure. Reversed, um, probably reserve graders last um, week. Yep. Like, the forwards that weren't playing, like Andrew Frieda, Paul Gallen, that's their normally, like, um, that's a normal team, and the forwards we reversed this, um, last week was, probably they played with, like, more reserve grades last year, and, um, we'll find out this week, uh, we've got Roosters, um, Hargraves, Takahaho, like, all those big fellas will come at, at come at me, and then they'll be able to see where I'm at with my defense. Absolutely, no doubt. It's a very um, powerful forward pack. Uh, you could argue the best in the world, given they just won the World Club Challenge against the Wigan Warriors. Let's go back to the Sharks game, but before we get ahead of ourselves, now, it was only a trial game, Nace, but what's one thing, personally, you can take out of that game for yourself? Um, yeah. One thing I took out from that Sharks game, um, probably my confidence. I'm, my confidence over the pre-season is just built up. Like, I've got respect from the boys, like... I was a bit shy last year, like I didn't want to do a few things, but yeah, the boys got on my back and just said like, you do something, like, we'll be behind you, like, yeah, and then Sharky's like, when Chad wanted the block, Chad wanted the ball, I'll give it to him, but he said like, if you want to do stuff, like, you can do it, like, you run, we'll support you, we know you can offload, and I just took that on board, and my confidence, like, level has been going up. Okay, so you just touched on there, perhaps you were a little bit, um, your confidence might have been a little bit low first coming into, I suppose, the NRL squad. So was there any coach or player in particular that sort of helped you come out of your shell or helped your game development uh, develop in that respect? Um, well, my first year, I mean, I heard, like, bad that they just kept telling me, like, back yourself, kid, like, you got ability, but I was just, I was just shy, like, I just wanted to just fit in, like, first year. I just didn't want to do anything stupid. I didn't want to make any mistakes. Yeah, no doubt. And, um, yeah, and then there's just got on, like, at training, like, if he's, if I miss an opportunity, like, where Marcus fly past, he blows me up. He's like, you should take that. Like, he just gets on my back and just tells me, even the boys get on my back and just tell me, like, back yourself. Yeah, you just touched on Des Hasler there. Did he have many comments after the Sharks game? Did he have anything that he said to you boys that he liked, anything he didn't like, etc.? Um, he was, um, just pretty happy how we, um, performed, like, as, as you guys saw on the, um, at the game, it was just two different teams, first half and second half, so, mm. we just, um, he, he wasn't too mad, um, we got trials just to get our team, like, where we at, and what we've got to work on, and, um, hopefully this week we can work, like, yeah. on the stuff, like, sense that, I guess. Yeah, no doubt. Last question for I let you go, Nace. Um, you know, w- w- I guess, what is your main goal heading into the 2019 season? What's one thing or a set of things that you really want to achieve this coming season? Yeah, um, before president, I always put a like, goal like, where I'm at, like um, what I want to achieve. And um, this, this upcoming season, um, I really wanted to play first grade more consistent, like, if I think if up it comes back, I just want to I want to be still in the squad, like in the 17. Like I don't know where, but like somewhere. And um, my other goal would be play international footy. Um, Tonga, New Zealand, yeah, just play international footy. Absolutely. Well, I think. Uh, from my perspective, certainly, and a lot of NRL fans, we think you're a uh, red-hot shoe-in for that number 14 jersey for Manly, mate. So keep up the good work. All the best this season, and thank you very much for coming on. Thank you, Clark. Yeah, all right. Cheers.